morning dear students we will continue snake bite and now we are with management of poisonous snake bite in children so as we know it is an emergency situation pre hospital care is also very much important in handling a child with snake bite so the first aid measures was what we have to do is first is to be decided whether the bite is by a poisonous snake or not so find out some uh, when the child is complaining something we have to find out whether there is any poisonous snake nearby or whether it is because of any other uh, organisms and if the bite is not by a poisonous snake the patient has to be assured and only local treatment is required so if you are finding any other organism nearby or any in insect or any animal in uh, nearby we can give assurance for the child and local treatment is only required if the bite is due to poisonous snake and if the parents bring the snake the following treatment should be started so to prevent decreased lymphatic flow that is immobilization of the limb should be done apply tourniquet 5 cm above the bite and release every 15 minutes to ensure some amount of uh, uh, perfusion the tourniquet should be tight enough to admit the admit one finger so clean the wound with the normal saline movement of even the unbitten extremities increases the lymphatic absorption from the bitten side so complete bed rest complete rest for the child should be given both extremities and both body every uh, body should be uh, immobilized that is very important the following interventions are avoided like incision or excision of the bite site suction cryotherapy and electric shock therapy this should not be done when we are bringing a child with a snake bite then giving the patient food or oral fluids because envenomation can cause vomiting and some aspiration can happen when we are giving food or oral fluids during that time so assure the child give rest for the extremities and uh give tourniquet application and 15 minutes we have to uh, frequently we have to release the tourniquet and apply it this is the management supportive measures can be done like iv line should be administered plasma expanders or blood transfusion should be given to replenish the circulation because there may be uh, bleeding can be the care should be taken of the airway and breathing because the child may go for respiratory a uh, failure when there is neurotoxic effect of venom immediately so we have, we should give proper care for the airway and breathing tetanus toxoid should be given 0.5 ml uh, is given as a anti tetanus prophylaxis then uh, next is a antibiotic should be given to cover both gram positive and gram negative organisms and there is a chance of getting infections so that should be done and sedations and analgesics should be given to relieve pain surgical rebreathment of the necrotic tissue and proper wound care should be taken so this is about the supportive measures which is required for a child with a snake bite so the specific therapy when a snake is bitten the specific therapy is with anti snake venom and it should be given that is a specific therapy of alt, uh, option indications of anti venom when we have to give anti venom is if there is local swelling extending more than the half of the bitten limb with extensive blistering or bruising so that suggestive of uh, a poisonous bite next is systemic manifestation like loss of consciousness neurotoxicity hypotension shock bleeding diathesis diathesis uh, then dic rhabdomyolysis and acute renal failure in these all conditions and if the child is with a grade 2 and grade 3 snake bite we have to definitely we have to give the anti venom so these are the indications of administration of anti venom so mode of transmission mode of administration and reconstitution of the anti venom each anti venom vial is diluted with 10 ml of distilled water or isotonic saline and given at the rate of 4 ml per minute 
so this is the mode of administration of anti venom reconstituted anti venom can be diluted with 3 volumes of normal saline and infused first very slowly and then with increased rate if well tolerate tolerated over next 1 to 2 hours depending upon the clinical response 3 to 5 vials may be added every 2 hours till all systemic signs and symptoms disappear or the progression of swelling ceases so if the patient is allergic or to prevent allergic reactions to anti snake venom the following drugs can be given before the starting of each dose of anti snake venom the, uh, anti snake venom that is diphenhydramine that is 1 mg per kg iv methyl prednisolone 2 mg per kg per iv and adrenaline 0.01 Uh, 0.01 mg per kg because this many of this uh, patients the snake venom can itself can induce anaphylactic changes this is to prevent this so this is about the mode of transmission tran administration and re reconstitution so how to dilute the medicine how to administer the medicine so this is this slide is regarding mode of administration and reconstitution next we can see grades of snake bite poisoning and and the snake venom dose how we can determine the dose of uh, and the snake venom so if the person is with the mild then local changes will be the like edema less than half of the length of the bitten leg uh, bitten limb systemic manifestations nil then we will be administering uh, and the snake venom dose five vials then more rate it is edema more than half of the length of the bitten limb and prolonged wbc uh, uh, and bleeding time and clotting uh, prolonged bleeding time and clotting sorry bleeding time and clotting time ana uh, early paralysis then 10 vials followed by 5 vials 6th hour sorry prolonged bleeding w illa bleeding time clotting time then severe extensive edema of limb like necrosis gangrene bulle formation and systemic manifestations like cardiovascular system respiratory system cns renal failure coagulation defects everything is there then we have to give 20 vials followed by 5 vials every 6th hourly so this is about the mild we will be giving 5 vials moderate we will be giving 10 vials uh, followed by 5 vials 6th hourly and in severe we will be administering initial dose of 20 vials then followed by 5 vials every 6 hourly so this is the dosage of anti snake venom according to the grade of snake bite next is the treatment of complications like shock should be treated with the crystalloid solutions like uh, fresh blood fresh frozen plasma these are to be given respiratory paralysis are managed by anti cold nestrase drugs Neostigmine should be given at the first sign of neuropara uh, neuroparalysis. Five doses are given at interval of thirty minute. Then atropine dose is point zero two milligram per kilogram must always precede the neostigmine injection. So this is to prevent the respiratory paralysis and to manage the respiratory paralysis. Then acute acute respiratory distress syndrome can be the it is mainly caused by viper venom. and it is treated with oxygen inhalation mechanical ventilation and antibiotics so this is about the complications and how we have to manage the complications which we are seeing um, in many of the patients with the poisonous snake bite next is the prognosis if the patient is brought early and anti venom is given within 4 hours of bite the prognosis is good so that is the main matter early intervention have better prognosis if the patient is brought late with organ failure it carries bad prognosis if the anti snake venom is given after 12 hours of bite bite it's of no use so this is about the prognosis immediately we have to give the anti snake venom and it has a good prognosis comparing to late uh, administration of snake venom next is a prevention very important children should be taught about the possibility of snake bite and measures to be taken to avoid it so avoid try uh, children playing with uh, some uh, 
unclean or uh, unclean area that is remove all the hiding places of snake bite snakes sorry wearing of boots and proper clothing is required for legs then avoid playing after 6 pm the snakes are likely to bite between 6 to 8 pm then proper lights should be used at night times when we are uh, walking uh, around the house first aid measures to be uh, taught to everybody so everybody in family everybody in community should be aware about uh, what are the measures to be done uh, one one snake bite is happening so this is about the snake bite and we even though we started with the bites and stings in your syllabus we have only snake bite that's why we discussed in detail about snake bite and other stings and bites are also the that just to understand okay thank you thank you very much students